So as far as um, our start, let's just have you guys start off. Well, I'm kind of doing a few things here, just starting off with those body squats. So having your feet about shoulder width apart, just going into a body squat here. Just keep that going. I'm gonna move some things out of our way so we don't have all this stuff in the background. Kind of stay with those body squats here. Again, sitting with a nice solid foot as you work through it. And good. So this one here, this is going to be a hip hinge, all right? So just going with our hands on our side, even you just can have them resting on the front of your thigh. Just kind of going back, sitting your hips back, slight bend in the knee, and then coming back up. You can also, again, do this and kind of moving our way up and down our thigh, kind of going a little bit past the knee and then coming on up. The activation here is going to be back in those hamstrings. Just going right there. And for our weights and our equipment today, all you'll need are two different sets of dumbbells. I also have a mat here. You can have three different sets, that'll be good as well. So we can go with anything. Variety is key on that one. If you have it, go get it. So with this one here, this is gonna start off with our twists, side to side, getting our obliques. And there we go. Good. Let's get these arm circles going. So just having arm circles forward. And let's go backwards. There we go. Let's go front and back here now. Nice and loose with the arms. Kind of get that chest and upper back here a little bit. If that's been tight for you at all. And good. So what this first one's gonna look like, it's just gonna be on one side, all right? So we just wanna have one of our weights and all we're doing, we can go with a heavy leg set of weights. We just want to have that in our right hand. And what we're doing is our right foot's going to go back, and we're going to do an oblique dip to the uh, right side as well. So right leg goes back in the lunge, and then we want to go into our oblique there, all right? So I'm going to put us on our timer. Sorry, I know I'm kind of fiddling around with this here, but we're just going to go again left side going down. And then we want to go with our, or left leg, sorry, left leg going down. And then we want to go with our left, or not left, sorry, right, right side going down. It's early. So let's go ahead and begin. So let's go with that right side. Right leg goes back. And then that oblique dip to the side there for that right side. Right leg goes back. And the right side with the oblique dip. If you need to, you can also use your hand, that left hand, to kind of hold that out, making sure that you get a little bit of a base as you go through. It's going right like that. A lot of the stuff we do today is just gonna be focused on one side first, and then we'll go to the opposite side afterwards. We got about 10 seconds till we get done with this one here. There we go, good. So this one's just gonna go with, and I'll move this back a little bit. This is gonna be a wide and narrow press, all right? So we start here and here. Here we go. Just going right like that. You can stagger a foot back if you need to, or we're just working just on that right side, going with that wide 
and their press. We're going to try to keep our arms up. We don't want to rest the weight on our shoulder. We're going to try to keep that weight up, making sure that our bodies are working the entire time, keeping most of that effort on the muscles here, not on our frame. Halfway through. Last bit left here. There we go, good. So this one's just gonna go with our transition to our, our weights. If we didn't have our heavy weights for our arms, we're going with that hammer and open curl. So hammer curl here, open curl here. Clock is rolling. And you can even kind of hold on to your core as you go through this, kind of holding on to it, making sure that it's engaged, anchoring yourself down, keeping our midsection in line. You don't want to be drooping one way, kind of going like this. We want to keep everything straight up, engaged, in a good position, halfway through it. Just alternating between that hammer and open curl. Isolating out those biceps. Then after this, we have an overhead tricep, or you can also do a kickback coming up, right? So this is our bicep part, and then we have our tricep coming up after this. There we go, good. So this one's just gonna go either kick back here, kicking it back right like that, or you can go overhead, holding on to it. Ooh, my arms are cracking. Just going right here. So this is one option. This is the other option. So you can do either one of these here. I'm gonna stay with the overhead. Try to keep everything as in line as you can. And with that foot, you can stagger it back. You can keep it forward or you can square it. Either way here. And if you need to, you can also even hold on to this arm to give yourself balance as you work through it. There we go, good. So this is just gonna go right leg swinging. This is gonna be with your heavier leg weights. You can grab both. This is just gonna be a single leg deadlift, all right? So just going right here, my right, or my right leg is moving. And I'm just going right here. And then back up. You can also do this pogo deadlift where that right foot is just back. Still assisting most of the weight is on our left side here. So this is level one. Halfway through it, level two is right here. Nice and slow, nice and controlled here. There we go, good. So we're gonna, we're gonna transition back to our arm weights, all right? And this is just gonna go with a narrow and wide row, all right? So bit over, kind of going right here, narrow and wide. Just going right like that. Alternating between these two. Again, with your feet, I'm squared up. You can go with that staggered look with your feet as well. Just gonna show you some side profile. When you go narrow, keep it nice and close to your torso. Once we go wide, elbow comes out. Still a big squeeze in that back. You should feel that one more in your upper back. With the narrow, you should feel it more in your middle to upper. Looking good. This is the last one on this side, then we'll switch it up. There we go, good. Take a moment here, shake things out. And then we're gonna to switch to the opposite side, all right? So this one's just gonna go with now, left foot going back, left side oblique dip, all right? So again, backwards lunge, 
Now going with that oblique dip on our opposite side. Here we go. Go ahead and begin. So this one's just going left foot back. So I got my weights everywhere. Left foot back, left side down. It's doing that same thing the entire way through. Looking good, over halfway. Almost to that press here. We got this press is coming. So this one here, transition your weights if you need to. Just going with that press up, nice and narrow, and then coming out wide, all right? Here we go, go ahead and begin. So as we do this, again, we can always go with that staggered look here. Just going right there. Looking good, over halfway through it. Let's say keep this going. There we go, nice job guys. So this one's gonna be with that bi bicep work here. So this one's just going to go with our open and hammer curl. All right, here we go. This is going to go on the clock here. Hammer curl first, or whichever one you want to start with first, and then open curl, just alternating between these two. Really isolating out the biceps here. Again, think about that core staying engaged, keeping our body upright, keeping our torso in check. I like to kind of hold on to my midsection a little bit just to make sure that I'm engaging my abs. I almost kind of tap it every once in a while just to see and make sure that I'm reinforcing that movement or reinforcing that engagement. Almost to our triceps after this. There we go, good. This is gonna be our tricep move, so again, you can go overhead here, overhead right like that, or with a kickback, all right? Either one of those, here we go. Go ahead and begin. That's it, keep this going. I know my arm's going off, so let me know that I'm about there. Keep this going halfway through. Nice and controlled. There we go. Good job, guys. So this one's going to go with those legs. Again, we can transition our weights. This is gonna be left leg moving, going into that deadlift, all right? So this one's just going left leg moving into the deadlift, right foot is solid on the ground. Again, this is level two, just going right there. You can also do level one is right here. Going up and down right like that. And again, level two. Just going right here, halfway through it. There we go, good job. 
down to our one weight again here, transitioning back to our heavier arm weights, that narrow and wide row, all right? Either staggered with your feet, you can also square one back, here we go. Just going right here, so narrow, all right, like that, big squeeze in the back, wide again, elbows come out. And think about all these positions here, you wanna be nice and close to your torso as you go back with that narrow row, out wide, really get that good squeeze in the upper back here. Looking good, over halfway. There we go, nice job guys. So made it through that one, all right? So take a minute, shake things up. And I will kind of put that on pause for a moment. So we're gonna start using the mat. So if you guys do have a ground to use, um, make sure that we can either use a nice, pretty stable ground here. I'm gonna have um, my mat out if you have it on a kind of unforgiving ground. If you have like more hardwood, uh, if you can place like a sweatshirt or something up underneath you just to give yourself a little bit of relief from that. Um, but we're gonna start off, we're gonna be on our back. And what it's going to look like we'll be on our back kind of doing the same thing as far as our our tricep so what it'll look like first is being down here but we add in a crossbody tricep so we can stable our shoulder with our hand or stable our elbow with our hand and we go down across our body so this dumbbell is to my opposite back and then as i come up i'm going to bridge it all right so i just go here with that bridge Okay, so we're just going across body right like that. So you guys can go ahead and begin. Start with your right arm first. I'm gonna start off on that clock and get that going. So again, cross body tricep, bridging as you bring the arm up. Go ahead and begin. So just going right here, bridging up as the arm comes up. And again, as you go through this, you can also stabilize the arm at the elbow with your opposite, using that as an assister here. That's it, keep this going. Once we get done here, we're gonna use two weights. So we're gonna put both of those weights on our lap, isolating out a bridge, all right? There we go, good. So both weights, both of our heaviest weights that we have, we're gonna rest those on our on our hips here, or you can also get just one big weight. We're just going with that bridge up and down, really engage those glutes, squeeze for a moment, slowly letting it back down here, driving through the back end of your shoes, squeezing glutes and hamstrings as you come up. Looking good, we're halfway through it. Keep squeezing, last few left. There we go, good. So transitioning to the opposite hand, all right? Going with the opposite hand here. Again, we go with that cross body tricep going across to the opposite back and coming up. As we come up, the bridge comes up. Go ahead and begin. Remember again, if you ever need to, if you feel that arm going kind of swirly on you, you can brace with the opposite hand. That'll keep everything in check or try to keep everything a little more stable here. We can get over halfway through it. Good. 
There we go, good. One more time with that bridge. Again, we wanna get both of our heavier weights on our lap here, going with that isolated bridge by itself. Here we go. Again, driving through the back end of your shoes. You can see my toes are kind of up here. Just driving through. I can get here, keep on going halfway through it. Keep driving through the second half here. Last bit left, you guys, good. So this one here, you can keep both of your heavier arm weights. All we're gonna do, we wanna start off with these up top. It's a slight or bent, or bent arm pull through, all right? So bent arm here, alternating each side. We just wanna go right here, slight bend of the elbow, drive it down as far as you can, and then coming back up, alternating that side, going right here. You can have your back flat on the ground. If that feels a little bit awkward on your back, you can tabletop your feet just to have your lower back in more contact with the ground here. Also engaging your core, that's gonna flatten out that back. Just really nice and slow here. If you ever need to go down and wait, totally fine as you go through this. There we go, good. So this is just gonna be a fly. You can have your feet that way still. You can even have them out a little bit more or up, or we're just gonna go with a fly this way. So I guess there's three levels to this. You can just go, one is down here, two is tabletop with your feet, and three is getting a little more core work in, having your feet out this way. Either way you wanna go, is totally fine by me. Looking good, keep this going halfway through. I like that my feet up a little bit more because my back kind of goes out on the ground. So I have a little more curve in my back. So I kind of like that my feet up versus down here, which is hard, but also puts a little extra gap in my back. So this one here now, what we want to do, just drop your one weight. We want to go with just our right side, all right? So this one's going to be a lot of core work. We isolate out that fly. It's going right here. Isolating it out just on the one side. Really use your core to bring you back. If you want to, you can still tabletop those feet or extend them. I like to be a little more anchored down on this one personally, so I just kind of might be solid. Feeling this in the inner arm and the chest and also your core to help balance the offset that we have over halfway through, still going on this side. Then we're gonna switch up sides once we get done here. There we go, good. So this is just gonna go to the opposite side. Again, the same thing, you can have your feet down low. You can have your feet tabletops, kind of like this. You can also have those feet extended this way. Either way there, that is pretty hard. I wanna keep my feet down just to be consistent, just like I was on my right side. Nice and controlled on the fly, squeeze on the way up. Looking good here, guys. Keep this going. Almost to it. Keep on going through.
There we go. Good. So take a minute, pick those up. I'm going to hold up the clock for just a moment here. We only have a few things left. So what we're going to do on this, this is going to be a little bit more core. So we're going to be in plank position and we're going to tap our shoulders. And in that tap, on that tap part of it, you can be down on your knee. So um, what it'll look like, just to give you more of a visual of it. So we'll be right here, tap each shoulder, or you can tap each shoulder. And then after that, we bring our feet, or our knees down to the mat twice, all right? So from any position, whether you're on the knee or whether you're going in that plank position, you can do this with that tap. So tap the shoulders twice, tap the knees down twice. Here we go. This is going on the clock here. Tap in each shoulder. And then tap in the knees down twice. Just going right like that. If you're doing, doing it this way, you can also do right like that. All right. This is where I talked about having either a sweatshirt or something soft if you have hardwoods. That'll be a little bit more forgiving, whichever modality you go with or option you go with. There we go, good. So you said two more things. We just have a side B up. This is with one weight. We wanna go on one side, then the other. All right, so this is level one, and then level two going right there. All right, so should feel this on that top part of your oblique. Go ahead and begin. So again, level one. Should again, feel this on that top side oblique, level two. You get more of a rotation at the hip with level two. Level one gives you just that small isolation on that top side oblique. Either way, really squeeze, if you're here, really feel that squeeze in the oblique as you come on up. Almost for this like a small crunch. There we go, good. We just have the opposite side, that's it. So you can roll over or you can spin over to the opposite side here. Here we go. So again, this one's just going right here or right here. This is our last one. Good, looking good here. Keep this going. Nice and controlled. There we go. Nice job, guys. Looks like it's about 8.30 on the dot. Got that one right. Got it proper, all right? So I'd like to thank you guys for coming in. Thanks again for bearing with me. I know with all the snow and some of the other stuff that we have going on around the fitness center, we uh, had to move some things around. So thanks for being patient and dealing with me on that. Hopefully you guys have a nice and warm day. Hopefully you don't have to go out in this too much. Have a great rest of your day. And we'll see you guys in next time. Thanks a lot. Have a good one and yeah, stay warm.